Hello, in this video I will be showing you how to add some interactivity to your presentation so that you've got links to different slides in your presentation from let's say the title screen and the main menu. Um, so let's start off with the title screen. So I've made a sort of introduction slide here um, about my presentation, I'll just call it inside a computer and I'd like a button that then people can click on and it takes them to the main menu. So in order to do this I'm going to start off by drawing a button and I'm going to use this rounded rectangle shape. You could use any shape you liked. Um, you could even use a, a picture or just some text but I'm going to use this button shape and I'm going to make that there and I'm going to say click to enter and put an exclamation mark. I'm going to select the text I'm going to choose uh, a nice font to use and I'm going to make it like a bit bigger. I think that's a bit too big. I can make my button bigger. Okay, and I'm going to center it as well. And let's change its color so that it really stands out. Okay, so I've got a nice button here which I want people to be able to click on and it takes them to the main menu. So, in order to do that, if I right click on the button I've made and go to link I can go here where it says slides in this presentation and notice here I can scroll down now I haven't got many slides in my presentation uh, but I can um, scroll to the next slide which in this case would be the sort of appropriate thing to do I want to go on to uh, the next slide so I'll press next slide apply and now I've got a link to the next slide Okay, so that was nice and straightforward. What about now linking this, which is my um, main menu? This diagram is going to become my main menu, uh, and I want to be able to click um, on, say, the CPU, and it to take my users, my visitors, to the CPU page. Um, and obviously, if I had more pages for the RAM, for the hard disk, for the monitor, then I would want it to take to those places too. So, the first thing I'm going to do is, it's not going to be very obvious to users that they can click on a part and go to a page if they just see this screen. So I'm going to add some instructions. So I might put it down here and maybe it will say, click on a part of the computer for more information. Okay, and again I might change the font of that so it looks a bit more fun and there's a bit of an explanation now for users who are coming. Um, and then also to make it even easier for them to identify what bits they can click on, I'm going to highlight, or just draw a little box around my CPU. So I draw that box around it. Now, it's now completely hidden in my CPU, so the first thing I want to do is go to the fill and change that to be transparent so it doesn't have a fill color, but it's still got a border um, which I'd like to change so it stands out, so I'm going to choose sort of an orangey colour, make it quite thick so that it really stands out. And it's this that we then want to add the link to this page. So to do that I click on it, just as I did with the button on the title screen. Right click, link, slides in this presentation and I'm going to scroll down and choose slide 3 central processing unit because that's the slide that I want it to link to and I press apply and now I'll have a link which takes me over to here. Now when I'm here I'd quite like a link that takes me back to the main menu again because obviously my users are going to be going in and out, in and out to find more information. So to do that I'm going to add a sort of a back button or a back arrow up here. So I'm going to go to my shapes and my arrows and here's a nice backwards one and I can click and drag that and I can use this control just to make it a bit wider and I can write in there back to main menu okay and I'm going to select that make it a bit smaller so that it fits and again I can right click on it link oops didn't mean to scroll there didn't need to do that so right click on here link slides in this presentation click on that and I'm going to go to the slide 2 because although it hasn't got a name by it Slide 2 is my main menu. See, I've got a 2 there. So slide 2 will take me back there. 
Okay, so I've set up my links. Uh, I think now we need to give it a go and see if it works. So I've clicked present my presentation and here is my title screen and I can click on the click to enter button and it takes me to my main menu. And from here I can click over the CPU and it takes me to my CPU. And I can click on my video and watch that. Or I could click here and go to Wikipedia. Or I can click here and go back to the main menu. Brilliant, that works just as I wanted it to. Okay, uh, go and do the same with yours. Remember, it's really easy. All you need to do is add uh, shapes for wherever you want to um, have a link and then right click on those shapes, go down to link and choose whichever slide within the presentation you want to then link to.